Hey piggy people, so I have a different type of video for you. We have a new house guest. Can, any guesses what it is? So we had a stray cat that was coming around to our house. And he is now being caught and is inside. Let's go have a look. It's kind of dark in here. Let's see if we can see him. Where are you, Sammy? We can hardly see you. Hi, Sammy. So if you want to see more of Sammy clearly, we do have an Instagram that's Sammy the Stray Cat. And that's Sammy that is S-A-M-I. So we first noticed him, I'd say a year ago, but just a glimpse of him. And then it was the spring when we put out all our patio furniture. Every morning I would see him out there sleeping. And then all of a sudden I didn't see him again. So I didn't know if he just left or what happened. And then one day I was out back. Um, so our deck is like three levels. So I was out back at the lower level looking at where I planted my roses. And he was walking along the lower deck approaching me. And for whatever reason, just the first thing I said to him was, are you hungry? Because I just thought it was interesting that he was coming towards me. And he just stayed there. So I said, okay, I'll go get some food. So I went up in to our house to find whatever I could to give him. And I came back down and he was waiting there for me. So I gave him something to eat. And then I didn't think too much of it. And the next day... When I was again out checking my roses, watering them, out comes this kitty coming up towards me again. So again, I said, are you hungry? And I kind of tried to walk a bit closer to him and he moved away. So then I went and got some food and at first I thought he was gone, but he came right back around to come get the food. So then I messaged my husband and I said, can you bring some cat food home on your way home from work? So he picked up some cat food and I started feeding him every morning and every night. And he was cautious of us, but if you sat about six feet away from him out on the deck, he would eat. And there's lots of times where he would sleep, like just eyes completely closed, stretched out on the deck, as long as you kept like, you know, about five or six feet away from him. And then I decided that, well, I'm going to trap him and get him inside. So we do have a vet appointment for him to be neutered, to get his shots and all of that. And I had reached out to a little rescue. Well, they're called um, uh, street cats. So what they do is a lot of the TNR, the trap, neuter, and release. So I just asked them for some information on how you humanely trap a cat. And they were extremely helpful, giving me all sorts of hints. And they also gave me some revolution for him so that once I caught him, I could put that on. And a worming pill, like a whole bunch of stuff the lady gave me and it was so sweet of her. So the one day when I decided I was ready to trap him, I set up the humane trap and put some sardines in there and he walked right in and then the trap like the front door of the trap goes down and then I just had to throw a blanket on him so that he would calm down and I brought him into this room and then let him go into this pen so as you can see it's used um, my CNC grids and actually worked perfect so the street cat people that I was talking to said that they suggested since I wouldn't know his temperament to keep them in a pen. So they usually use um, pop-up extra large dog crates. But hey, I had a million zip ties and grids to use so I did make my own. And it's super secure. And as you can see right now it's open but for the first two days I had it closed. And then on the second day he was getting quite restless and was like ripping up all the pee pads and the cardboard. So I decided to allow him to come out into the room. So now he's going to be staying in the room until well after he's neutered and once he's kind of socializing with us more. 
So, so far he's a pretty mellow dude. Uh, he'll only get better, I'm sure, once he's neutered. So he has not hissed or growled at me. Uh, he let me touch him to put the revolution on him. Was he happy about me touching him? No. Uh, he does lots of sweet little eye squints while you talk to him. He will sleep in here with his eyes completely closed while you're in here. Outside, he would eat in front of us. So far here, he hasn't. As soon as I put out his like breakfast or his supper, I usually leave and then he'll go right to it. And he uses his litter box, which is awesome. So that was something before I would let him have the full room. I was making sure he uses his litter box. And at first there was nothing in here with fabric. They said um, you needed to let the revolution be on him for a good 24 hours before you would put anything fabric out in case you were to have fleas or anything like that. So the first um, evening where I decided to open the pen because he had done all the destruction inside the pen, it only took him about 10 minutes, so I set up a camera so that I could watch in here. It took him about 10 minutes and that was it for him to decide to walk out. And he went everywhere, checked everything out. Um, we've got like uh, little cat trees. And then he was jumping up on this uh, old dresser, jumping up onto there, jumping up onto the top of his cage. Um, I removed a lot of stuff off the bookshelves just because I didn't want him knocking stuff over, stuff like that. So it's now just uh, socializing with him, which I'm sure will be a slow process and on his time. So this is his safe spot underneath this ledge, as you can see. I tried earlier to put that really cozy bed under there, but he wasn't having it. So he likes to just sit under there. Um, but once you close the door and leave, he comes out and does his thing. So we'll just have to sit and wait and talk to him lots and get him to trust us. And it'll be really exciting to watch him learn to trust us, I guess, and we'll see how it goes. But I was uh, very pleased that he seems to be doing well. In this morning, I caught him on camera sitting up in this little cat tree looking out the window. So we do have lots of like wildlife outside for like squirrels, chipmunks, rabbits. So he had a good view of that. So he will be going to get neutered, as I said, and getting his shots, uh, probably getting wormed again, probably getting like a topical revolution or advantage again. And... I'll ask them at that time if they can tell kind of what they think his age is. So we will keep you updated on how that goes. I have never had a cat before. Like, my parents have cats. Uh, In-laws have cats. My sister has cats. But I've never had a cat. It kind of feels um, similar right at the moment to guinea pigs as in taming. Because right now, you know, he acts very shy and cautious, so... I've got experience with that. I just don't have experience for what cats do. But I'm pretty excited. Um, it's too bad that you can't see him since it's dark in here, but he's like a beautiful buff color. A little tabby. He's so adorable. I was going to wait closer to our vet appointment to trap him. Because you can do like where you trap him and then just go right to the vet, but... I was so worried about him getting hit on the road because he would cross the road. And then we do have a lot of raccoons around that do a lot of fighting with each other. So I didn't want him to get hurt that way. And there was a bunch of days where it was so hot that I was really worried about him because he had one day where he did not want to eat in the morning and did not want to eat at night. It was kind of worrisome. So I just spent most of the time like sitting on the deck waiting for him to show up and it was a lot of um, anxious waiting so I thought well we'll get him inside yeah so that is Sammy and I'll keep you guys updated if you're interested I'll leave some comments down below and I will see you guys later bye bye if you like watching guinea pig videos 
learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else, guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!